Hello. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to this new episode of uh, Genshin Impact. Uh, as always, we'll continue the mission from last time. I'm, I'm getting disturbed by these fucking people. I can't even... I can't even start the video and everybody's busting my balls. Oh, finally. So, as I was saying, last time we left off uh, uh, when we made uh, the cannonballs, I believe. So now we just need to uh, use the cannonballs to destroy that uh, the blockage with the cannon. So, let's go ahead and head straight up to the, to the objective, which I guess is the cannon beneath us, right? Uh, no. Strange. What is this? The observation point that Sinkshon mentioned is here. Uh, it's like a tutorial. Low lamppost, high frequency flicker. Middle lamppost, low frequency flicker. High lamppost, low frequency flicker. Wait, what does this even mean? I don't understand. Oh, so... Okay, I think I get it. The lowest lamppost has high frequencies, the middle one has low frequencies, and the highest one has low frequencies. Okay, yeah, these are the lampposts. So, the lower one has uh, higher frequency. Let me just reread. Low lamppost, high frequencies. Middle one low, highest one low. So, high frequency, low frequency, low frequency from bottom to top. So, since we, it's more convenient for us to go from top to bottom, let's go low frequency, low frequency, high frequency. So, low frequency. Let's go to the next one. And let's activate this one, which is which needs to be low, yeah, like so. And then the last one should be on the ground level. Ooh, it's next to some mud. Let's let's uh, use the adjuvant. There we go. Let's defeat this one quickly. Okay, let's activate this one, but at a high frequency. There we go. So now we can finally load the cannon up with the cannonballs. It's actually next to us, so this is convenient. There we go. Ooh. Cutscene. We should be able to load the cannonball now. Be careful, the fuse has already been mounted. Uh, if we had known that we had to do this, we should have just mounted the fuse here and unloaded the cannon all at once. That's all water under the bridge by now, Paimon. Give me a hand over here, please. Sure. You load the cannon safely, of course. And now we just need to fire it, I guess. There we go. Straight. There we go. So now how do I exit from here? Okay. Okay, we have unlocked it. Nice. Next up. Look, we've done it! <laughs> They're so more expressive now, the characters. Awesome, Bullseye. Uh, yes. Awesome, Xing Chung. Wait, let me pronounce it correctly. Zi Hui Hong. Zi Hong. Zikong. 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 Looks like the Clitopho does know uh, what he's talking about after all. Guess we blame Demon justly. Yeah. See what I told you. Yeah, you were right. I was too hasty. Paimon wonders what's up ahead. Oh, it's scary, but it's also exciting. Shall we continue onward? Maybe we will find uh, the character we found before, like the one resembling Ganyu. Yeah, let's go. The map hasn't changed, right? No. Okay. A chest, nice, and uh, one of the luxu luxurious chests, yeah. Whoa, what is that huge crystal? I need to be careful not to use fire. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's use it, but uh, at our advantage. Yeah, like so. There we go. Quite a, quite a matter of seconds. <laughs> Uh, can I actually do something about this crystal? Hmm. Doesn't seem so for now. Okay, let's continue going deeper in the cave. Ooh, a Seely. Hello, Seely. Take me to your chest. Such a long tunnel. Did the miners really dig it? Yes, this tunnel leads to the location of the curious crystal. But, oh, let me read. No, normally there should be less shelters and resting areas, but as you can see, well, then they say there are bigger tunnels and more irregular caves further down, according to the mini Bro, I'm not that fast. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't usually believe. Man. 
I'm missing some text. Well, for you guys, you just need to post the video if you want to read it. I hope I don't miss anything important. Oh, another checkpoint. Thank you. Don't mind if I activate it. Whoa. What the heck is this? This looks really strange. What, what is this? Lumenstone only started springing up like mushroom within uh, the chasm after the miners discovered this thing. This is definitely no coincidence. From the way it floats and its damaged state, uh, it really does look like the fragments that Iris said ex existed on Dragon Spine. Yeah, it's from uh, Kenria, maybe. And yeah, I'm talking about the, those floating fragments that you found earlier. Who knows, they might also be inexorably attracted to unite with a large fragment somewhere. Perhaps some nameless ancient civilization sleep under our feet, just like the ancient catacombs on Dragon Spine. What do you think? It's possible. The changes to the geological structure of the chasm have been accelerating. The black substance that you see converting the rocks only started showing up everywhere recently. I can't be sure, but I think that these things are all related. The mud, the flowing light, and this floating crystal fragment. Hmm, why would you think that? Well, that's because they all make me feel sort of... Queasy? It's like getting car sick on a carriage, or like losing your sense of direction on a ship in a storm. Really? Paimon feels alright. Yeah, if we don't feel unwell, we can go to the camp first. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. I've had my fair share of bouts and vertigo or seasickness. I'll be okay. Now that you mention it, you've been uh, coughing a lot, and also you're pretty pale. Don't push yourself more than you should, alright? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, yes, have you noticed? There are three strange devices around the crystal thing. We should probably investigate them. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Maybe we can activate them and uh, open up a new area. But these guys, this looks really, really cool. Like, this strange structure, those ancient ruins. Uh, like, this is straight out of a, of a movie. Okay, let's take the panoramic view. From here. And also, she is pretty right. Like, the geological structure did change, because if you look at the... At the miners' platforms, they're all tilted and uh, destroyed. So something must have happened. When the Lumenstone adjuvant reaches a certain level, you can activate, uh, uh, you can actively use its uh, power to destroy oozing creations and the dark mud nearby. Some level two oozing creations are significantly tougher and will need a stronger Lumenstone adjuvant to destroy it. Okay, so I guess this one is a level two mud. Uh, I guess. Guess not. Okay, I can recharge at this th station, I don't know what. Hey, wait. Ah, I need to recharge this crystal. Insufficient Lumenstone energy. Hmm. Should we go and see the other... Yeah, let's, let's also look at the other uh, thingy. Like this one. Is this like a level 2? Or is it normal? Oh, uh, this is a level 2. Okay, okay, this is a level 2 one. So this one we need to come back later, but maybe this one is a normal level one. Yep, nice, thanks. Okay, the other one should be down here, yep. Uh, and they also look like level uh, one uh, mud, so... One, ooh, a knight! Uh, whoa, 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 would you look at that? Okay, let's wait for a second, so we can deal extra damage. Let's go. No, wait, I didn't see it. Did I deal little damage? Fuck. And you're done. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Let's also recharge. Oh wait, we can't recharge it. Yeah. But can I recharge it if I reach max energy? Like if I use this one? Can I recharge it then? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, so... Yeah. So then we should be able to activate even the first one. There's another Lumens Bar up there. Whoa. This is definitely Kenria. Like, look at all the... Or maybe in Kanomia. It, it does resemble a bit in Kanomia, but in Kanomia is far away. I don't think it's in Kanomia then. 
maybe we can destroy the level 2 mod if uh, I have uh, if I use my full recharge two times why where is the where is level 2 mod it was here strange okay either way we've, we've done it Ooh, what's going to happen Uh, okay, so now it has uh, some strange barrier. Oh my god! Isn't this an Abyss, uh, an abyss Herald? Whoa, 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 They are pretty strong, I need to be careful. I need to recharge Mona, so then I can do this. And after we do this, I then can use uh, Yanfei. There we go. So I can deal some extra damage. Oh no, I, I forgot they have a another phase, like the last phase. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, he, he spins now. <laughs> You're stuck. Oh no, 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 no. This is the first time since I last uh, reopened the game that I eat something. Usually I remember that uh, I would have eaten something uh, way back when uh, I found a tough boss or uh, a tough uh, enemy. And this is the case. Okay, let's keep in eating with Yan Fei. Slow and steady. There we go. Okay, so we did one. Whoa. Did I did I only need to defeat him? Shit! <gasps> Whoa! Damn! Did he destroy the... The ground? Again, she's coughing like crazy. Phew, that's better, much better. There, <clears throat> suddenly got a lot, lot cleaner. Okay, so now she can breathe properly. That thing flew away and blasted the path uh, open for us. Whoa, you scared us. It's almost like you had a case of terminal acidity. Uh, terminal lucidity? <laughs> oh yeah, sure, just focus on Prime on, uh, and stuff. <laughs> By the way, terminal lucidity is not used this way. Shouldn't we be more concerned about uh, Zi Kyung? I'm fine now. I was just suffering from maladjustment a moment ago, so I might have looked pretty frightening, but I'm fine now. Please do not worry. Yeah, now she's not that pale anymore. It's like how people might feel faint due to the thinned air uh, if they climb a very high mountain for the first time, or find it hard to breathe in deep waters. There are small problems, things every good adventurer must overcome. No problem at all, really. Small problems, says the person who talks about them so dramatically. Uh, you shouldn't get too close to the crystal, or you should. You sure you're alright? Okay, let's, let's say this one. Also, don't watch uh, from so close when you're fighting. Just look at the state you're in already. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine, really. Don't you underestimate me. That's what adventures should be like. They should walk with death and consider de deadly peril a friend. We fear neither death nor danger. So, <clears throat> this is nothing I can't handle. What are you even talking about? It's nothing. Please don't worry about me. Hmm. Not a few paces away from where you... You nearly collapsed and now you're talking nonsense again. That's right, we're talking about something different altogether. Stop being stubborn and go back to the surface to rest. No, please, <coughs> listen to me. They're, they're not different, they're the same thing. What just happened was a, just a small setback and I can, I can overcome it for sure. The environment here is no harsher than that of the Mayor Javari. Please don't laugh at me, but I don't think I'm much inferior to Stanley in adventures. Then ordinary people like me can do the same as uh, those seasoned adventures, just with some extra grit. That's what I believe. I will persist no matter what, and I'll do my best not to be a burden to you. Hmm... I don't know. Then let Paimon ask you a question. Earlier, when you came into contact with that black, muddy, smelly stuff, did you feel uncomfortable like this too? Kinda. It wasn't that serious. Don't try to downplay it. Give us an honest answer. Well, yes, but like this time, I just need to get, to tough it out, you know? It was nothing serious. <laughs> this person has got to be the king of land of understatements. How can you be so sure that you won't be in mortal danger if exposed to it too long? You might feel better if you go back to the camp and take a rest. You need to go back and take a rest. 
Let's let's be imperative. You need to go back and take a rest. I can't. This expedition has just gotten exciting, you know. I don't want to slow us down. Uh, it'd be best that you go and tell everyone else what we found. The other people on this expedition need to need you to lead the way for them. Hmm. It's best that you go and tell everyone else what we found. That's right, Jin Hu, Khediv and the others still need you to guide them. If you run off by yourself into the depths, uh, who's going to lead the way for them? Please go back and tell them of the dangers that may await them ahead. You can guide them and steer them clear of any hazardous areas. Yeah, but, but, no buts. No worries, we'll be fine. Okay, I understand. Do you really? I'll go back to the camp and guide them through a safe path, clear the dark mud, and we go deeper into the chasm. Sorry I was being too stubborn. Yes, exactly. You need to rest, my G. Huh. Better keep your promises and hold your horses and stay clear of dangerous places. <laughs> Alright, I get it. I'll do as you say. That's the spirit. Prusel, let's head off. And we go deep inside the, the hole. Also, when we first uh, looked at that uh, strange... Uh, thingy up there when it, as it fell down uh, it reminded me of the stars from super mario galaxy i don't know if you guys know them Ooh, another adjuvant a lumenstone ore is this a raw ore just like the one jongsin found earlier hmm oh there's a lumen spar how deep does this go oh my god there's no cutscene Look how deep this was! <laughs> wow! Oh my G! Oh my God! This is so strange! Uh, a huge uh, black... Uh, a city! It looks like the one... Uh, Yeah, this is really fucking cool. I'm a lot for the war. Yeah. It reminds me of the one from uh, uh, Dragonshire, the one where the, the dragon uh, resided. Oh no, wait, the Defile statue? Yeah, maybe with the purple atf atmosphere it reminds me of that. Okay, when they are going to speak, uh, I will shut up. I just read when uh, nobody speaks, so... Mm -hmm. Ooh, checkpoint. Oh, shit. <laughs> My sister? Uh, then sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you bad boy. Hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of questions. Yeah, so tell me all you know. First, tell me what you're doing here. Hmm, okay. Which is? Oh, so the, uh, the the portal takes you somewhere else after the visceral that goes through it. Yeah, so you didn't actually catch up with my sister. Mm. Mm. Cool. Yeah, similar. Yeah, Storm Terror's Layers. That one, yeah. Did 
the eye of the first field tiller I can't I don't remember it, damn it. It's in a safe place. You can be sure that I will learn uh, the truth. Hmm? Okay. I know already who he is, right? He's a... A, a soldier from uh, Kenria. One, do one of the Imperial Guards, if I remember correctly. Who is the Twilight Sword? Okay, let's say this one. Yep. Yeah, what is this history between you and my sister? Whoa! Like him and Paimon! Imagine my sister popping up from uh, from this rock like uh, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll trust you for now. Hmm. The general direction of which I pointed was actually correct. Okay, so we are deep inside this uh, cave. This is so strange. This upside down city, I mean, it's so cool. First off, let's activate the checkpoint, and now let's go to the to the fire. Was it here? No, it was uh, up further up. Oh no, it was here. Okay, sorry. Well, the monster did get attracted over here, so I guess it's normal. Mhm. Mm Request there. Do you want the answer? He knows the answer? Tell us. Ooh, does this have anything to do with the upside down city? Wait, now that I think about it, this is just a theory. Yeah? But uh, they did say that the monsters were uh, citizens of Kenria that were transformed into monsters uh, monsters after the war with the gods uh, so maybe these are the old citizens uh, of the, this city that is turned upside down and they are trying to get back even though they're monsters maybe it's this either way this is just a theory let's continue the environment here looks the effect of the curse uh. Maybe it, undo, it undoes this curse and uh, they can uh, become human again. Yeah, as I was saying, so are you saying the other child that come here also from indeed? 
Do you know why Hitler Charles wear masks? No, why do they wear masks? It's to hide their appearance. Least they catch sight of their reflection in a bottle of water. Compared to how they remember themselves, it is a terrible sight to behold. One that causes them great despair. Damn, this is so sad. Yes. Damn. Oh, I was right. So I was right. <laughs> These are citizens from Kenry and they're going back to the city because uh, it's their city. Or maybe it, it uh, as it said, uh, undoes a little bit of the curse. Damn. Sad. Oh shit, a fight? Ooh. By Ely Charles? Or not? No, by Knights. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'll use Yan Fei again. Okay, 9000. Come on, come on. Man, this the the lore in this game is so deep. I once saw a video of the Genshin Impact uh, iceberg and uh, it's so deep, there's so much to uncover and so much that still needs to be told. There we go. I freed you guys. What were those and why did they attack us all of a sudden? Black Serpent Knights. Whoa. So these are from the Royal Guard of Kenria. Damn. Poor Kenria people. Hmm. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Seems we missed one. He doesn't talk? He looks huge. Okay, what's different? Disappeared. Maybe since the curse is, uh, let's say, weakened, he does remember who he is, so he doesn't attack instantly. And maybe remembers Dane. Yeah. How could he have retained self awareness for a hundred years without it? He's familiar? Maybe recognized you, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll encounter him again. Wait, we can we can actually enter the city. Whoa, this is really badass. Yeah, barrier. Puzzle time. Wait, don't waste your time. Whoa. <laughs> so I guess that's it. <laughs> Things I couldn't be more familiar with. Hmm. Was this uh, upside down city built by Kenria or was this upside down city built by Abyss Order? Let's ask about Kenria. Hmm. 
A civilization more ancient than Kenria Dam more than 500 years ago. It is rather strange how it upside down. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Huh. More soldiers. Yeah, more black serpent knights. Hmm. Good question. Okay. We did it pretty fast last time, so let's do it again. Let's use uh, Mona's ability. And then we can just uh, wait a second and boom. 20,000. 25,000. Damn. Nice. Let's distract him and shoot some fireballs. Okay, one is down. And the other one is uh, nearly down. There we go. Ooh, more? Look, vines, you should be able to climb right up. Oh yeah, there are vines. Let's continue deep inside the city. More black serpent knights, damn. They're speaking. They're hiding Gilly Charles. They're like protecting the citizens. Like these were citizens and they are knights. Protecting them. I think they? Damn. This is getting cooler and cooler. I don't know. I want to know what's, up, what's going to happen. Ooh. Pretty, I'm pretty stoked. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let's shoot her ability one more time, and then switch to Yanfei in 3, 2, 1, boom! There's one left. There we go. Oh no, wait! I forgot about you, sorry. <laughs> okay. They were trying to hide Lily Charles. Investigate. Ooh, black mud. Yeah. The end is nigh. What is this end you're talking about? More. I think it's what what I said. They're protecting them because uh, they are citizens, and they're trying speaking. It's so cool. Let's try to avoid fighting them, or fighting them is meaningless. Let's try to avoid. Whoa, the big guy! How big are you? Oh no, wait, he's on top of something. Who is he? Yeah, I guess so. Half done? Could it be if this is a suspect? This is a truly tragic state of affairs. You want to know where they were gathered here, guarding the Charles, don't you? It's because, like I said, it's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they are simply doing their duty. Half done. Yep. 
Damn, so they were carrying out his last order. Man, this is so sad. Damn, bro. <laughs> this is so sad. So they're not talking to us. They're telling Ilichars behind them to escape. Yep. Yep, you meathead. Damn. What a sad, sad story. Okay, we, th we need to go over here. Okay. Okay. Let's follow the light. And the ceiling. An upside down checkpoint. Uh, Wait, now I get it. Uh, Paimon did mention the Statue of the Seven, that which uh, we have seen, right? Uh, but uh, that statue was upside down, that's why she remembers it. Because the city is upside down and that statue is upside down. So the statue, the city, the, the checkpoint, all this stuff were thrown upside down. So strange. And from here we need to go over there. Can we actually make this jump? Ooh, there's something up there. Down here it goes deep down. Ooh, there's also a luxurious chest. Uh, let's go get it. There we go. The road ahead seems covered in dark fog. Did something happen? Uh. I need to go up, not down, right? I need to go up again. There we go. There we go. It, it's uh, where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, we need to go up there, so... Hmm. Dine, aren't you actually... <laughs> Dan actually said that he feels comfortable here, like... Uh, like something saying him to stay. I hope he doesn't get affected and doesn't like want to kill himself here. Okay, let's go back uh, to the tower, where we need to go. And there we go. Whoa! This is beautiful. Just... Whoa, look at the water! Looks so pretty. Yep. I agree. Yeah, 
少しそのものと一体になっているようだし古代文明の入り口だったそして俺の推測ではあれが呪いの力なる弱い部分だうんそうやると先ほどよりも体が楽になっていくのを感じるおそらくあの糸の水には浄化作用があるのだろう Then go take a swim, my G. Hmm. But you haven't tried it, bro. Yeah, exactly. Don't tell me you're becoming a monster, bro. Damn. Well, the curse is immortality, so that makes sense. He's going to die if you leave the curse. Maybe we, if we flip the crystal, the city will be flipped, or the gravity will be flipped. Whoa. Oh shit. I bet there's going to come the, the, the girl we saw earlier. No, half done. Maybe we need to follow him. This should be useful, yeah. Let's go. Let's follow him. Let's follow the that poor soldier. Uh Yeah, he jumped down. You jumped so down, oh my god. You jumped here? I removed the mud. Whoa, Fatu's journal. Has the cover the large bell of the South The rock walls are skipped all over it. This is a very similar to the large bell that Captain discovered in the ruins to the northwest, perhaps. We dispatched Sanjay and Fedek and Fedika to ring the two bells to their respective corners. As the seraphine tolls reverberated through the stone, the black fog disapp dissipated. What a strange phenomenon. It's almost like the bells were announcing someone's arrival. Ten words lost. Two vanguard squads took immense damage. The captain ordered a retreat. A simple map falls out of the diary. The map marks out, of, out, of, out the two bells in the northwest and southeast, with two ominous skulls to go with them. Damn. Whoa! Okay, we unlocked a part of the map. Nice. But I think this is another mission. <laughs> I'm doing this mission, but I think uh, I did it wrong. Like, uh, I needed to follow the guy, but the guy didn't take me here. Like, when I first came into this place, I needed to go and look at this, uh, this, this backpack and uh, ring the bells. Okay, let's do this uh, pretty fast, then we can go back to the matter with the, the half done. Or what was his name? Okay, let's, let's, let's go back to this mission instead. We'll do the, the bells later. Okay. Hmm, he really did one tip. Yeah, let's go forward. More Hilo Charles stuff. Ooh, a fun guy. Starshroom. 
a fungus with a cap that resembles a five-pointed uh, something. Cool. Ooh, we're going to unlock this new area, nice. Whoa. What is this? Ooh, a knight. Hello. I wonder if uh, when I kill these knights, uh, do they actually die or uh, do like do they like respawn? Oh, did I kill him? Yep. Okay, we need to activate the checkpoint inside. Whoa. Checkpoint. Let's go. This place is so huge, I, I don't understand where I need to go. Maybe maybe by using the the thing I found earlier, the rucksack or the belts, like how do you call them? Actually, while we're here, let's do the other one. It was uh, this one, right? Perils in the dark. Let's destroy one one bell. There's black mud everywhere. This place, whoa, the bells have been covered in the dark mud. Will tolling this bell really cause the blackford to disperse? Hmm. So if I shoot this in the direction I want, uh, it destroys the... Cool! <laughs> okay, we have activated everyone. Ooh, a boss. A mini boss. So maybe after we kill him and the others, uh, we can finally use the bell. One of the bells. Ooh, the bell. Hello. Oh, I ring the bell. Dong. Gong. So... Do we notice anything different? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, but we actually rang one of the bells. Nice. Okay, now that we have finally done this, we can go back to uh, the mission. Which is this one? No, wait, this one? No. This one? No, no, this one. We can go back to this one. Uh, yeah. Where do we need to go up? We need to go up. Oh, finally found it. But uh, this is a completely different uh, place. No, wait, it was actually this one, but I went straight. I needed to go on the right. Oh, shit. It's just me that's stupid. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. What is this? Whoa! More really Charles. Yep, they're all sleeping. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, we'll check everything. So these guys are sleeping or dead? Damn. Okay, they're they're almost dead. Yep. I agree. Oh. Paimon, don't make me sadder. Please. <laughs> well, they are pretty distant from it. Paimon, stop making me sadder. Come on, this is so sad. Whoa, what is that? A flower. Don't know. I know this flower. Wait, uh, is it something from my sister? Damn. 
もともと2週間しかないだが誰かに頼られカーンレイヤーの土から離れたがその花びらが水槽に巻き込まれたおおクール故郷の土に帰って初めて花びらは再び柔らかくなったやがて縮こまっていったものの故にウンペイワットは勇気つまり今日を離れて旅するものを象徴しまた故郷の優しさと耳に残すものだったいや Come on, where is her? Where is she? Whoa, what? Is this like a past memory? What are you doing? Oh, she can see me? How did I see in the past? Yeah, I explain it. So she's doing something to revert back the curse. Yeah, to cleanse the curse. She was to revive Kendria. Strange. Whoa. So they are accumulating citizens and to return them back to normal so they can then found uh, old Kendria. Yeah, exactly. Do they have a chance? Well, that's what you say, but maybe. Why should I believe you? I actually said before I trust you, but... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I choose to believe you. But that doesn't mean I completely trust you, it just means that I don't approve of my sister matters. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's like a complete phrase. I see. 
1% chance of redemption versus a 99% chance of suffering and death. Nobody's direct to make that choice of another living being's behalf. Especially not when these Ilichars have already chosen the end that they desire. You have developed your own individual view on this world. Very well, since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have more immediate agenda than stopping the abuse. Yeah. So he wants to do the right thing for his companions, for his old companions. Can I pick up the flower? Hmm. Not, I guess. Okay, let's go forward. Let's leave the camp. Yep. It's pretty eerie. What? Whoa! What the? I thought the city was going to fall. The mutation is continuing as the abyss made its move already. I see your incense and meddling continues. <laughs> that is true. He wants to undo the curse. I actually hope we fail so we can see what happens. Say what you wish, I'm going nowhere. Dance leaf. Ooh, let's fight him. <laughs> like, we are actually fighting him, not, uh, not dance leaf, but okay, sure. By a hundredfold, ooh. So they can actually amplify the power of the water by a hundredfold. That's a lot. Then maybe it is actually possible. By a hundredfold, that's so much. I should have put uh, a nice uh, elemental character in my party. Oh, this last part of the uh, heralds uh, is uh, the hardest. But before that one, uh, they're pretty easy to deal with. There we go. Yep. I'm sorry if I'm too quiet on this mission, but it's pretty entrancing, so I'm pretty invested in it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I know we need to go up there. Whoa. Wait, do I, do I just need to go inside here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. Oh, cutscene! Oh, shit. Look, the amplification device. Okay, so that's the amplification device. Whoa. Whoa. Are they reverting back? Oh, shit. Damn, they must be in so much pain. Oh, he's in pain too. 
They're in agony. Find a way to stop the thing. I guess we just need to defeat the the Herald. Wait, what? Wait, it's him. What? Is it working? Oh shit, half done. Oh, okay, he's trying to destroy it. It's his friend. He did it. He stopped it. No. Whoa, a new beast herald. <laughs> Look at him, what a hero. He sacrificed his life. Oh shit, he's an, ele an electro dude. Oh shit. See, like, before they put up a barrier, they're pretty easy to deal with. It doesn't take much. And he's level 92 also. There we go, he's going to put up a barrier. Go ahead. Oh, fuck the damage. Okay, thank god uh, fire is the weakness to his uh, barrier. Oh my god, I'm about to die. You don't have much left. There we go. Fuck you, bro. Well, he's blocking it pretty well. Let me take his place. The cleansing won't have any effect on me. Only I can take on the abyss. Then what are we going to do? See all these rays of lights and portals? They must have installed several of these energy devices in various location. Find them quickly. <laughs> no, nope, I mean, we won't wait for emergency food. Okay, so we... No, fuck! Who I was almost going to fall down. Shit. There we go. The first one. So do I need to... Yeah, okay, I need to destroy all these... All these energy thingies. There we go. Done. This is the first one. Do I need to destroy it? Do I need to... Oh yeah, I need to destroy it. There we go. First one destroyed. Is it wrong if I think it uh, like the Beast Herald? Because... Uh, I know they're going to suffer, right? But they're going to die either way. So while we're at it, why don't we try to save them? Well, my character in the game agrees with the density, but I actually agree with my sister. Even if, it's, if there's a 1% chance, instead of letting them roam as monsters or die as monsters, we should uh, try and, uh, let's say, save them. They're going to suffer a lot, yeah, in the meantime, but it may be worth it. Let's destroy this one as well. Again, yep. And then let's go to the last two. Again, Abyss Heralds. Now again, let's destroy this one. And then we we'll, uh, we have a last one. Danzo! Perfect. And now we just need to destroy this one. Done! Oh fuck. Uh, we don't have any portals. Any Hello bro. Are you good or are you dead? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Halfton is dead. <laughs> Shit. Well, he was his friend, so yeah. He 
He's dead. I'm sorry, my G. Wait, no? Whoa! A spirit! No, bro. Look at the Kenria division, it's pretty cool. Hmm, lie to him, he didn't fall. Yeah. So he can die at peace. What? Well, beautiful. No need to revive the homeland. Yep. Yep. Don't think so. Yep. Go on a vacation, my dude. The Loom of Fate Operation is still underway. Uh, didn't we say we were on yours? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yep. I hope so. And now we know it. <laughs> yeah, we want the money. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We completed the quest, finally. So, there's no more quest or... Yeah, we finished it. Oh, we need to finish this one. Go to the lower things of the chasm. I'll try and finish this mission. So then we are completely done. I don't want to make a part 4 video. <laughs> it's so long. We need to go to Sumeru and also unlock the series. So, yeah. We need to... We activated one bell over here. We need to activate the other one. So let's go here to the Stony Halls and uh, try and go to the other part. Yeah, we're going the right way. Deeper and deeper. Let's recharge. Ooh, a checkpoint. Ooh, I see a... I see a robot over there. I actually forgot their names. They were from Kanria, if I remember correctly. Like, come on guys, look how cool this is. It's so freaking cool. It takes me over here, when we, where we can unlock... Uh, this mechanism, another writing, which I guess, uh, yeah, will disappear. Let's open the door. And let's go deep inside. Whoa, hello, big boy. Thanks for the chest. Uh, why do you still have... Okay, yeah. What are you protecting? Is there something? Ooh, there's the bell, yeah. Shogun. There we go. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's mad. There we go. Let's ring it. No, wait. There we go. 
now we have rang the two bells, so it should actually work. I don't see any changes. What do I... Approach the dark fog. Oh, we need to go back. Okay. Yeah. To approach the fog. I don't know. Let's try. Ah, I died. Yeah, thanks for the cutscene. Ooh, two abyssals. Yep, I died because the cutscene <laughs> killed my Xinchu. So we have fire and electro. I guess our team uh, is pretty... It's pretty balanced for these two. I will distract you for now. Then we'll go with Xinchu. Use the, the Shogun's ability and shoot you in Jianfei. Wow, you're all ready at half earth, both of you. Now they're both in their final forms. Okay, I defeated one. We just need to defeat the other. All together, let's go. Let's go. Bring Spains to the dark. And what's here? Ooh, we found the cube. Curious cube. Okay, so now that we have this curious cube, uh, yeah, we need to go back to Zhongchong up ahead. Okay, which is actually pretty near. Come on, come on, give me the cutscene. Okay, no, just dialogue. It's great to see that you're alright. What were uh, those two creatures? I've never seen an, uh, anyone or anything like that. Cough. Alright, alright, there's no need to be so strict. I won't risk provoking them, I know. How did you get in front of us? We came through a hidden mine on the western side that just happens to let us get around the areas infested with the black matter and the strange creatures below. below. Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. That road was pretty hard to find, and no, and no mistake. Um, no mistake. It might be. It might have been some sort of path to the treasure orders carved out and route to their loot stashes. But I can't imagine them wanting to come this far down either. Well, our campsite isn't too far away. Let's talk as we go, shall we? Yep. Why not? Even though I found it pretty hard talking while going because, yeah. Speaking of which, we heard a few tolling sounds not after we entered the mines and then the tunnel started collapsing. Okay. We just about barely got out of running from our lives. No one was hurt. Our equipment was undamaged. We can also call for stuff. Would you happen to know anything about that, Fruzo? Uh, not really. It was uh, our fault. <laughs> Ooh, a checkpoint. Uh, nice. Uh, so this is the cave she was talking about from the treasure orders. Ooh, a new camp. Two camps. So if we go back to the other one, we won't find them. Yeah, uh, where is she? Let's talk. <coughs> oh, hello there. Is there something you need? You're coughing away, you sure you're okay? I'm alright, really there. Down here is just kind of thin, which doesn't sit too well with me. Oh yes, this is the map that I drew earlier. <coughs> well, that feels better. Well, you'd best rest up. Don't go running around all over the place now. Speaking of maps, we've got one for you as well. It's a map of the two strange bells. Seems like it's something those dreadful Fatui left behind. Thank you, I'll incorporate this new location into my map. Wait a moment, did you say Fatui? They've tunneled into this place as well? Certainly looks like it. Looks like we got to even be even more careful while exploring the chasm. Speaking of which, we found this. You've been around here more since Shong, so you probably know what this is used for, right? This. I think I found a gate with a symbol similar to this one, somewhere deeper down. <coughs> Sorry, if I remember correctly, you could hear the wind behind the gate, and quite sure that there should be a large open space behind it for us to explore. I wonder what relationship this thing has to the gate. Might it be a key for some sort? Sing Shon right? No, wait. Zig Shon right? This is a device used to unlock the gate. Whoa, where did you come from? I hope before joining the conversation might be nice. Sorry, I was just too eager to say that this strange device is indeed used to open doors. I once looked into similar devices and just as luck might have had it, the device in your hands is an exact match to the ones in my research lab. Unfortunately, neither alchemy nor basic mechanisms, mechanics can help us understand the energy within these devices, nor can they explain the principles behind their ability to unlock all unlocked gates. Aren't you a paleontologist? We are Murata take a rather dim view of on of those who reply no wait. We are Murata take a rather dim view of those who rely purely on theory. That said, uh, we often have to work with those blockheads from Spantamed all the same. Well that's all I can tell you. There isn't much else to be said with regard to academia. 
Oh, I have a pillow right here. You can keep talking. <laughs> oh, I'll stop. I'll stop. I didn't inform this exploration team to divulge our secrets or something. Whatever the case, uh, if we are able to find the gate that uh, Zee Kyung spoke of, uh, we'll be able to use this strange device to open it. Let's go together, shall we? Ever since you shared this new map with me, I've been left with this last section unmapped. I just thought that we could. <coughs> oops, sorry. You know, we could get it all done in one go. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> No, bro, you stay here. You can leave the map thing aside for now. Hey, I've, have you had close contact with that black muddy stuff at any point? Oh, I'm fine. The environment just not seems too well with me, you know? I mean, this is nothing for a true adventurer. <laughs> nothing? Hey, you'd better wake up here. You're the only person, I repeat, the only person in the whole team who has, such, has shown such serious negative reaction during this process. We have to send you up to the surface to rest. If you go now, there's still time. All right, all right, don't look at me like that. Do whatever you want. It's not as if I'm your parent or something. Will you really be fine? That's right, you've been coughing this whole time, this whole uh, way. I'm fine, I can take it. I joined this team on my own accord, of my own accord, if I'm not going to change, I'm not going to change my decision based on what others say. Hmm, yes. And I suppose that as an adventurer, your primary concern is the ruination. What is this? I don't get it. If you're willing to leave, I'll make sure you're comp- Ah, oh, wait, the, the money means. If you're willing to leave, I'll make sure you're compensated. You'll be quite the generous package. The representatives from Leo will understand as well. Come on. <coughs> Sorry, I'll have to excuse myself now. The area is all cleared out and it's remapping. I shan't waste your time any further. Right, Fruzel, I'll add to the gate that I mentioned before later. If that's where you're headed as well, we can meet up there. This kid is not to be reasoned with at all. You've been too harsh on, on Zing Shong Khadiv. Exactly, you were so curt and you didn't explain anything either. Is there any wonder that you ticked her off? <laughs> I, I just didn't expect that she would have literally no concern for her life at all. You know what? Forget it. She can do what she wants. And then she'll regret it later and ask for help. That's how young people are. Always go to take a hit or two before they learn. What exactly is wrong with Xing Shong anyway? What we're facing is, in essence, very similar to the anomalies of Dragon Spine, in the sense that their source is something alien to this world we know, and it involves the clash of two energies. And that is why we have to get you on the team, Fruzel, since you are able to manipulate the elements w without the use of a vision. For normal people like us who neither have visions nor can manipulate the elements, these anomalies are malignant, even fatal. Uh, those who have even those who have close contact with the source of the anomalies may begin to lose touch with the world. Some will weaken swiftly and even... So Jing Shan is in trouble. That's as much as I can say. Wait, then what are we supposed to do? Should we chase after her? It's her choice. But we can just stand by and watch. We should at least try Fruzel. Yeah, she's right. Well, don't let me delay you. Either way, I'll leave you two to your own business. There are still a great many secrets for us to discover down here. And if you meet Jing Xiong, please take care of her and be all for the rest of us. Of course. Ooh. So this is the last area, I believe. Very cool. So we are here. There's the glowing narrows with a checkpoint. And then the objective is over here. Yeah, let's go. I want to go there. I want to see what's up. But before that, let's upgrade the adjuvant. Let's go ahead and uh, go to Xinchong. Ooh. Can I, like, destroy this? Yep. I can. Oh shit, this is pretty deep. How deep is it? My god. How deep is this place? Bro. Oh my god, this is so deep. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't expect it, the chasm to be so deep. Oh, hello, soldier from Candria. Who are those who stop us? We shall cleanse the tainted thing from the sky with sacred blood. Wait, aren't you from Candria? Why do you speak like that? And you're dead. Thank you. The heaven's judgment, the needle of retribution, never forget. Oh, maybe that's the phrase he. Whoa, a strange gem. Okay, so he gives the gems we need. Ooh, what a cool mushroom. Wait. You two like the hatchling who makes none of us... The mushroom is talking? What the... 
Uh, do I really need to talk to you? I actually want to go further. Uh, don't tell me you have another mission. No, yeah, let's not. Let's ignore him for now. I want to go to the to the gate that uh, Xionshin mentioned. So we should find the gate over here somewhere. Yeah, there she is. Hello. Ooh. Cough, cough. <laughs> hey, Frusel, you're here. <laughs> Found you. <clears throat> What's wrong? You don't look so good. Did I annoy you in some way? You know, Paimon's having trouble telling you who looks worse between the two of you. The road ahead is very dangerous. You need to get some more rest. You know, everyone is actually really concerned about you. Please don't care so little about your own safety. I, of course, I know they're worried, but it's like I said before, this is what an adventurer's life should be like. No adventurers in this world would block in the face of danger. I have no wish to lie in, in bed in my dotage, withered by age, relying on others to eat or even to get myself to the toilet. If the alternative is stability and boredom, I choose danger any day. I, I rather lay my life down here than lay the lie in some cushy bed waiting for time to claim me. Bro, we're just saying, just take some rest and you can come here again. I belong here, I know it. A comfy job with the ministry, that's not for me. Khedive's Mora, it doesn't own me. And as opposed to the, those lucky few who have visions, adventure, exploration, challenge, these are things that can only be truly experienced by normal people like us. So when it comes down to it, it's all about you, huh? Haven't you spared a single thought for others? I've said it before, this is my own personal business. It's got nothing to do with anyone else. I'm sorry that they might feel bad about the matter, but uh, must you really go deep in such dangerous places? You want to leave a memory of yourself behind, do you? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, yes. I just, I don't want to be forgotten. At least this way I'll leave uh, some maps behind and I'll have boring witness to the sight of the chasm and I would have uh, accomplished all this stepping into the realm of the forbidden as a normal human being. And the trail of the Yakasha who def defended the Liwen ledges might be behind this gate. If I could reach that place, I don't know if I can make it there, but I wish that I could get closer to these unknown places. Perhaps we might truly find a reason for those anomalies in the chasm. Everyone needs rest, ordinary or not. <laughs> She's about to flip me off. We're all worried about you, please don't take such poor care of yourself. What you need to do right now is to regain your strength. Yep, that's right, you should totally get some more rest. The road ahead is still plenty dangerous, you can just wait for us to finish clearing the obstacles ahead before following after. It won't be too late. Anyway, uh, someone needs to record down what we've seen, right? If no one records this stuff, no one will remember it after all. You've got a point there, Paimon. <laughs> hmm. I get it, I'll go back if you insist, but please you keep your wits about you as well. We will, stay safe on the way back now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <coughs> I don't think I don't think she's actually going uh, back. Ooh, there we go. These are some strange doors, pointy doors. Wait, there's a camp. The crystal looks familiar. Let's have a look, shall we? An explosion has occurred. Cause unknown. The Mokosh device, which should have theoretically been able to clear the abyssal corruption from this place, has overloaded and been destroyed. The black pollutant out of the main fragment has begun to regenerate. We need to sum up what we've learned thus far. One or several hard strikes aimed at the key stress points on the main fragment can cause the black matter to retreat. Our scouting partners have discovered human activity in different locations. Whether they are human or some other creation is unclear, but perhaps they might, uh, might even be the culprits behind the black matter propagation. Still, we haven't found out where what that girl was, uh, the girl we saw on the second part of the mission. Okay, let's continue going forward. Ooh, again, look how deep this is. Ooh, some other fossils. We actually, I didn't put it in the video, but I actually found uh, another fossil like this before. I just took a picture. This usually mentioned a tail of a giant serpent lurking in the chasm. Maybe he's here? Whoa, there's light. Oh my god. Oh my god! 
another pillar, the one that's on top of Dragon Spine, which is like a pillar fall, uh, fallen from the the thing of the gods up in the air, in the sky. This doesn't look like a natural cave, it looks like something huge cut uh, right through this place instead. Actually rammed right through, might be more accurate. You know, Fruzo, don't you think this floating thing looks rather familiar? This resembles what we saw on top of Dragon Spine back then. There's smell or aura, it's pretty similar. Whatever it is, it's really spooky. What have you discovered, Paimon? Whatever it is, this pretty it's pretty creepy. You know, doesn't that stone tablet look kinda new to you? It doesn't look like it fits uh, in uh, with these ruins at all. Although the inscription cannot be understood per se, a little observation reveals that the engraving is a map of the surrounding area and that the other pictures have something to do with the floating crystals. Hmm, so the big crystals have five weird devices around it, and these lines are connected to the crystals. Ah, uh, Paimon can't read this. Why is this diagram, diagram so messy? So the big crystal has five weird devices around it. Oh wait, it's the same thing. Same thing. Looks like we need to activate those five devices. Yeah, let's do this. Then uh, someone needs to hit the crystal or something, and then the black spot will disappear. Okay. I guess uh, they just forgot to draw those glitches, so the application of the external force can speed up the purification. Okay. After that, wait a minute, wh why did they draw this big worm? Seems like this stone tablet is telling us beware of the super big worm. <sighs> the snake! Perhaps it's warning us to beware of stepping on worms, so eating the crystal will awaken some kind of giant creature. Hmm, that sounds a lot easier to get, but still, we've got to try before we know for sure. Also, Fruza, look at that purple blackish stuff, it's all over that big crystal. Looks pretty similar to the dark mud we encountered before too, yep. Well, let's start from activating those devices. Oh ho, very fearless of you, Paimon. <laughs> well, we're already here, so we might as well do something. Right here, Rooney. And there we go, we unlocked the full map of the chasm, finally. And this uh, will be the last checkpoint we need to unlock. So, let's uh, let's get started. Let's go and activate these uh, strange uh, devices. Man, look how cool all this looks. Damn. Again, how can this be a free game? I don't understand. Like, let us pay something. Five, five bucks, even. Okay, let's start by fortifying this one. Boom. And recharge. Ooh. There's a uh, time. There we go. He's dead. 80, 90, 100 percent. So one has been purified. Then there's another one on top. Uh, well, let's continue with the with this path. I guess it's going to take us where we need to go. <laughs> this stuff looks pretty alienish, uh, like these plants, this grass. Oh my God, the Nabis Herald. Okay, I'll deal with you swiftly. There we go. Activate your stupid uh, protection. Should we recharge this? Shit. Fucked damage. Okay, I purified the other crystal. Oh! So if I purify the crystal, it dies. Nice. Uh, <laughs> that's good to know. It saves me a lot of time. Hello, boys. Don't mind if we recharge. Fuck you. Fuck you, yeah. Yeah, fuck all of you. My fucking boy is dying. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. If I sit still, you can see me. You are no match for me. There we go. Looks like we've come to the bit where we've got to apply some external force to the crystal. You ready, Fruzel? Are you sure the diagrams on the stone tablets are reliable? Do we really have to? Well, we've come this far, let's just give it a shot like we always do, huh? Ah, Paimon, what will I ever do with you? Alright, come on, it's a big crystal, don't you just want to poke it? <laughs> yeah, let's poke it with a stick. That's, that's a brilliant idea. There we go. Let's poke it. Jump! Oh, damn. Donezo. Okay. Did we do something? Oh. 
shit. So this is the serpent that we're talking about. Uh, oh, I've got the worm. Giant digging devices. So this is a digging device. I don't think from I don't know if from, from Canria or from some somewhere else. Okay. He spawns black mud. Shit. And how do I recharge my Okay, this one recharge my thing. Oh shit! A tornado! <laughs> this is a pretty difficult boss. Yeah, there we go. Let's use his Mona's ability. Switch to Yanfei. Okay, we did some damage. There you are. You bastard. Where are you? Yeah, there we go. There we go, 28,000, nice, 12,000, perfect. This thing is so tough, we can't hurt it at all. What are you saying? It's almost dead. And I almost died. Oh shit, he's mad. Oh shit. Oh shit, no, are we falling? There she is. It was her. Are you gonna help us? <gasps> she did it! She knocked it off! Whoa! Well, that's badass. It's her, the new character. Are we gonna meet her? Oh no. Oh, it's going back up. Cool. As the unexpected collapse occurs, you manage to escape to safety this time. So we survived. Is this over? It all feels like a dream. Looks like the, that thing uh, there has gone back to normal, the air feels less heavy too. Even though we've reached the bottom of the chasm and even defeated the creature down in there somehow, but it doesn't feel like we've answered any questions. In fact, we've got more questions now than we did before. Like for example, what was that thing above us? Where did the giant serpent come running out? Where did that dark mud and the strange monster come from? The monster that followed the dark mud here seemed to be eating at the big crystal and Xiongqing mentioned that a yaksha was here once. That, mu that must be the yaksha? At this way too many questions for Paimon, looks like the chasm still has many secrets that are yet to be discovered. Yeah, no wonder adventurers like Xiongqing are so committed to exploring this place. But things should quiet down a bit in here, now that we've cleared this big thing up, right? Still, looks like a long way off before the mines can be reopened. But our exploration mission seems complete. Will we worry about that the other stuff in the future? Oh yeah, one more thing. It feels like someone helped us during that fight with the big snake. Did you hear this shoom sound during the fight? Sort of. Hmm, <laughs> well, never mind. When we head back, we can ask uh, Zikong if she saw any strangers. Yep, there we go. Now we can go back to the camp and hopefully finish the mission. Let's go. Please. <laughs> Hello. Sikyong. Great, you're back. Yep, we're back. There have been several earthquakes ever since you went through that gate. We don't know what's going on uh, down there, but we're glad to see that you're both okay. Well, you don't look too bad yourself. Looks like the rest... Uh, Looks like the rest helped, huh? All things on your end. I followed your advice and rested here all this while. I'm feeling a lot, a whole lot better now. Was this all due to that thing behind the gate? I didn't go in there, but I could feel some strange pulsing within. Something amazing must have been back there. I'm sure of it. <coughs> I grew up listening to tales of uh, the Yakshas, and some of my seniors used to say that one of them was sealed inside the chasm and slumbered to this day. Uh, we, we didn't meet the uh, Yaksha you speak of. There was a huge floating crystal in there. I see, thank you. So as for the dark mud, we... <coughs> sorry. It hasn't been completely cleared out yet. It experienced a gradual retreat. Yeah. Yep, now that we've removed the taint from the large crystal, that stinky mud should be back underground in no time. I understand. <coughs> I'll inform the other team members. Uh, it seems that our exploration of the chasm has met with some initial success. 
This is way stronger than that time at Kiao Queen Village. Kiao Ying Village, what's that? Hmm? It's the most famous tea house in Liyue. Top notch scenery, top notch tea. You haven't heard of it? Oh, yeah, the one in the tree. Well, not that they like the place very much, even if it is my second home after Myung Village, I know every last creek and, and tree in that place like the back of my hand. I guess I would have remembered the place uh, and the people more fondly if it wasn't for that disagreement I had with that one commission giver while on a map making assignment. Huh, whatever, no point talking about that now. And while I say I don't like the place, but I do achieve some. If I do achieve something great this time, I would be uh, good to go back there to rest. The old man's tea is a truly unforgettable experience, after all. But over to more pleasant thoughts. The next time I'm back home, I'll be famous adventurers having tea with the old man, you know? I do hope you'll be there to see it. <laughs> there I go again, talking about unrealistic stuff. Well, we could use this opportunity to become an official exploration te exploratory team under the Ministry of Civil Affairs, but I don't think we'll be going anywhere anytime soon. After all, it was due to your Spelunking that Spelunking what is this Spelunking it was due to your Spelunking that we were able to avoid the perils of the path such that no one was injured or lost and that were and that our material losses provided uh, proved the negligible I think that we might stay here for a while yet help the ministry staff uh, watch over the underground anomalies and maintain the exploration facilities did you encounter any strangers after we left hmm what well, I didn't see anyone on the way back, uh, and I fell asleep pretty quickly once I got up, I got back to camp, so I didn't see anyone else pass by. What's wrong? What's with the sudden question? Oh, never mind, it's nothing. <clears throat> well, if you're leaving, don't forget to say hi to Meaning as well. <laughs> Tell him that I'm going to be promoted. Who knows? Who's going to be the boss so, of who before long, huh? There we go. Report back to Meaning. So we need to go back uh, to Liyue. Over here, yeah, next to the chasm. There we go. Ah, uh, what a nice end to the mission. Ah, I can finally relax and stretch. Meaning, hello. You're back, Fruzo. How did things go? There's good news to be had from underground, I hope. Yeah, we tell him everything. <laughs> See what I told you. The exploration team were a reliable lot, and the expedition was bound to be fruitful. I have received the ore samples and data that Khadiv and Junhun have gathered. The unknown matter it is in full retreat, and the geological shifts have largely ceased. It's a good omen indeed. Thanks for your, to your help, the Minions have also expressed no objection to our plans for further exploration and restoration. In fact, they should be getting ready to descend into the mines themselves. Sorry, did you say something before? I don't, I don't remember you expressing such effusive support before. Hmm, <laughs> that's right. So, what was the one who was trying their best to prevent us from going down previously, huh? <laughs> Come on down, there's no need to be straight about such things. I mean, I will pay you, and of course the Chasm Exploration Team will become an official part of uh, Hugh Channel for this day forth. You need to work on your ability to change the topic. That's right, but since there is more to be had, we'll forgive you this time. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, I did get a real earful from the higher ups myself for letting you go down there without so much as a report back to headquarters. The higher ups, who? Yeah, and who would bother coming down here themselves to give you an, an earful anyway? You might not believe me, but it was the Yuhan yourself. She seems quite concerned for your safety. Seriously? So, Kashing been keeping an eye on us for this whole time? Huh. But the person we met down there didn't look anything like her. You actually saw that person clearly? Huh? You forgot? It's the one that went shoom and went right by us. It was super flashy and stuff. You met someone else down there? Are you certain that it was an attraction order of a twist? Hmm, this is certainly worth recording, but don't worry, the Milnith will help you look into it. Ah yes, Fruzel, since I'm currently in charge of the exploration team's materials needs, could I also ask you how things are with them at the moment? Zixion isn't looking too good. That's right, she's still down in the mines and she's not in the best of conditions. Hmm. Jungwoon did mention her condition to me, I sent a report recommending that the Ministry send a medical team down. With any luck, she'll be patient and stay out of any hazardous zone. Clitofo joined up, but uh, he was a treasure order previously, will things really be okay? Or oh, him? We all know him, he's not a bad person by nature. If you were able to trust him, Fruzel, I don't think we'd gainsay you. Still, I think he'll have to wait for a while before he can be welcomed in in any official capacity. Let's just call it a probation period, shall we? 
about Khedive or that fellow from Sumeru? Well, I won't lie to you. You can think of him as a sort of proxy. On the surface, he seems to be the organizer and the overall in charge, but in the truth, he even answers to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Of course, this comes with some academic agreement that the Kshinshi have with academia. The people upstairs went back and forth with academia for a while over this, and I'm, and I'm not at liberty to say more in any case. Whatever the case, a researcher from overseas is not exactly someone we would normally use. But since he's willing to pay for the team for his own pocket, from his own pocket, I suppose we have a little reason to refuse his help. Well, what's the agreement going to be from now on? The ministry will send more people down there. I suppose we've got to trouble our dedicated professionals to delve, to delve in the perilous depths for us again. Your dedicated professionals. <coughs> anyway, thanks for your help. You're always welcome here at the Chasm. Yes, indeed. And there you go again, changing the topic so suddenly. <laughs> okay, okay, let's not get too hot and bothered about that. In any case, the Ministry thanks, thanks you for your services, and we will not stand in the way of you, of your activities within the Chalicum any further. Nice. Finally. Whew. Took so much. I'm, I'm physically exhausted, I know. There we go. Where is it? Wait. Uh, it's down, yeah, chance lighter, there we go, let's claim this primals, like, lo let's look at the new <gasps> titties, yeah, 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 blah, 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 well, for today's video is all, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, we finally managed to finish this long, and I can't emphasize it enough, long mission, so yeah, I guess I'll see you later with the Sumeru region, so yeah, Bye-bye. Peace. I'm going to sleep. <laughs>